Welcome back to Bravo Breaking News. So we are in the midst of Scandal happening right before our eyes during Vanderpump Rules. But what we haven't seen is what went on behind the scenes and what we are not seeing on the episodes. And Lala Kent herself is spilling all the tea on her podcast this week, including some never-before-seen moments and some tea that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I am going to dive into all the juicy details, but first, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Bravo breaking news. Queen Lala Ken is giving us answers to some of the questions that we've all had for a while now. The first being, was everything that we're seeing the past couple weeks filmed before Scandal or after Scandal? She confirmed that everything we've seen so far regarding Tom and Raquel's affair was in fact before Scandal. The only thing that was maybe filmed or recorded after the news broke was her narrating kind of the plot and story behind how we all found out about the sleepover. She did confirm, though, that the editors have gone back and re-edited these episodes. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I went back and watched the original Vanderpump Rules season trailer, and there is not a single minute second of this Tom and Raquel affair drama. It is nowhere to be found, which made me think that it wasn't a big storyline to begin with. Lala confirms that they are in fact going back and pulling footage that originally kind of seemed insignificant. And she gives us the example of the scene of Tom and James in last week's episode. They're smoking weed and Tom is telling him about the sleepover where he says that Raquel went back to his room, I mean the guest room. You know, like when you first watch it, it kind of seems like just, you know, a slip up. But now looking back, that was an obvious lie. And so production is pulling scenes like that to incorporate into the show now. And these are things that we probably wouldn't have seen otherwise. She also shares her theory on the infamous Ken Todd drive-by. So Ken's in Lisa's kitchen and he tells us about the sleepover. And this is when Katie finds out and then tells the rest of the group. Lala's theory about this is that basically Lisa doesn't want to get her hands dirty. This is what I'm thinking. Lisa loves to maintain that she is out of the drama. She likes to remain kind of a neutral Switzerland kind of character. And she didn't want to kind of be the one to break this news. So she thinks that she, you know, passed it off to Ken to tell Katie. She's not getting involved in the messiness of the peasants. Right. So who is the sacrificial lamb? Not Ken. Ken! <laughs> I can't believe what? that Tom Zanderville had Raquel oh. over when Ariana's away. Lala also shared a little tidbit about the sleepover itself. So the sleepover actually happened after the beach day that we saw a few weeks back. She also spilled that Schwartz did not even sleep over. She confirmed that Schwartz had the dogs, you know, as him and Katie have been kind of sharing custody of their two dogs. Um, so Schwartz had the dogs that night. He couldn't sleep over, but Raquel definitely did. So we know that Schwartz, this is just another example of him covering up for Tom and Raquel. Then they get into the glamping scene. And as we all know, Tom Schwartz makes this super cringe toast or kind of speech at the dinner table saying, watch out about Raquel. You know, she's into taken men. And Lala once again confirms Schwartz totally knew that they had hooked up at this time. When he knew at that point in time. He knew? I was yes, going to ask you this. He knew. He knew. So why bring this up? Schwartz, are you a psychopath? Like, I don't know what he's trying to do. Make light of it? Make humor? Is that his way of coping? I don't know. But Schwartz definitely knew at this time. For him to make that comment knowing that Sandoval had already slept with her. This is a group of really sick people. She also said that that really, really tough scene to watch between Ariana and Raquel when Raquel is crying around the campfire 
was probably, you know, a little bit of guilt coming out of Raquel. Do we think that she was crying so heavily because she was feeling guilt? Yes. And I think you she, do. Lala basically says that the only other time that she's seen Raquel cry is about aging out of pageants. So why would she be crying now? Um, it's because she has this built up guilt. And, you know, all the while, Ariana is there consoling her right by her side, being her shoulder to cry on. It is sick. Okay, and then Lala gets into what went down at the Heart Spring party at TomTom. Tom. You know, this is where her and Ariana had the conversation about the party. They call Sandoval up to kind of get the story straight. And Lala spilled a lot of behind the scenes details. So first, when Lala first brought up the Labor Day party to Ariana at the event, Ariana wanted nothing to do with it. You know, she was furious. She told the cameras to go down, stop filming this. And she kept saying, I'm not doing this. Cameras like kind of went down because she was very upset that I was bringing this up. She wanted nothing to do with it. I think, you know, she had heard this rumor. Obviously, Lala told her what happened. And Ariana just, you know, like she said in her confessional, trusted Tom, trusted Raquel. So she didn't really want this brought up on camera. But finally, Lala kept pushing it. And finally, Ariana decided to bring Tom over and have the discussion on camera, which I am so glad they did. At that Labor Day party, Lala shared some interesting details that her mom actually caught. Her mom was around Tom when he was on the phone with Ariana that day. She shared that Tom kept hanging up on Ariana, saying that he lost cell phone service. Where he would, she would hear Ariana screaming at him, <gasps> and then he would hang up and say that he lost service. My mom's watching this. Again, this is an example of Lala's mom kind of seeing this and not really thinking anything of it, but now looking back saying, whoa, major red flag. She also said, as Jack said, Ubers were coming and going all day. Getting a ride was not an issue. Tom chose to stay there. And she did share where we could find a little glimpse of this party. And it is, in fact, on Sheena Shea's vlog. I pulled um, a kind of second of Tom and Raquel together during that moment, which is the only footage of this party that we have. Hello. Hey, look who arrived. <laughs> Oh, hi. Oh, hi. And kind of proves that they're having the time of their life. They're having fun. Tom isn't thinking about Ariana. He doesn't want her there. And he is just living it up with Raquel, his mistress. And finally, Lala and her co-host kind of discuss, you know, if this were to have gone down a different way, how Ariana would have reacted. If Tom were to have sat her down and told her about this, would it, you know, be any different? And basically, I think that it all happened the way it happened for the best because Lala shared that after the news broke, Tom was actively trying to manipulate Ariana. He was trying to actively manipulate her in the car right after she had found out. Into staying quiet, into not making a big deal out of it, and to not say anything to the group. But Ariana knew better, and as soon as she found out, she texted all of her friends and let them know so Sandoval could not manipulate her into this, which is proof that she knows him and she knows what he's capable of doing. I mean, he's a gaslighter, he's a manipulator, and he's going to try his best to save his reputation, um, you know, whether that is sacrificing Ariana and her feelings or not. So... I think Ariana did the right thing. You know, she stood up to Tom. She did not let him manipulate her. And I think she's better off for it. So although, you know, it went down in a very, very obviously terrible way, you know, this shines a spotlight on how really disgusting and sick Tom Sandoval really is. So that is all the tea that Lala spilled on her podcast. Honestly, I am living for it. Lala is not holding back. I love the secrets um, that she's giving, you know, that we're not seeing. 
um, from filming days and even days that aren't filmed. I love these juicy details. So I'm going to be here to cover them all. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything and tune into our weekly recaps, which we'll be doing every week through part three of the reunion.